Hey guys, so this is the hotel tour. We got upgraded and we have this apartment building now. <laughs> we, have, we have the apartment room now and I can just take it from here. We got upgraded for free and now we have this apartment room that includes a kitchen with like a laundry machine. So we start out with this. This is our bathroom and it's really nice. Here's the sink and all the um, products and stuff. Next, here we have a teensy closet. I don't think I'm gonna use it very much since I don't like unpacking everything. I just take things out of my suitcase. And then, moving on to this room right here. Don't mind the outfit because I just came, like I just arrived. We have a nightstand here and a bed and there's also another closet next is the living room it's kind of a mess right now since we've just arrived again and the hotel people also set up this bed which wasn't here originally for my brother and there's also a tv which is also great sofa couches the best part is that there's like a whole kitchen in here there's a dishwasher there's Okay, this is just like the sink stuff. There's, I'm gonna skip this one because this is my favorite. There's a, there's a fridge. And not one, but two fridges. There's also like this oven. This is the one I wanted to show you guys. It's what I'm most excited for. It's a whole laundry machine. Which is so nice. I honestly don't think we'll be using much of the kitchen since we're just going to eat out. And we've got a lot planned. But it's still really nice to have like the option. So I forgot to show you guys something. It's at nighttime, obviously. But like we have this entire balcony to ourselves. And honestly the glass up here is really high. Like it goes up all the way here. It's taller than me. I'm kind of short though. And this is our view. There's like a park. That's it. And I will see you guys tomorrow for London Day 1 officially. So if I'm being honest, this clip was taken at 3 o'clock in the morning since I had bad jet lag. And I just could not sleep. So I did take a few sunrise clips. And I eventually did sleep for like 4 hours. And I missed breakfast, so my mom and my brother went to the breakfast in the hotel. And they just brought me a banana and some Nutella. We spent, I think, honestly, 20 minutes trying to find the correct station and what line to go on. But we finally made it to the National Gallery with the help of some very nice workers and locals. So the good thing is that we made it. And I do recommend grabbing a physical copy of the tube map and even studying it just for five minutes. Because once we got familiarized with the tube map, it was actually so easy and simple to go to different places. It was clean, organized, and I honestly think that I could go on a tube by myself and make it to the correct destination. Once we got into the National Gallery, first thing I noticed was definitely the architecture. It was very pretty, the mosaics, the wall, even the ceiling looked really majestic. There was like accents of gold. And then we headed to see the highlights, including the Arnolfini wedding, the works of Degas, and also a Renoir painting more architecture and then one of the biggest highlights for me i actually didn't know they had this painting here but when i found out later i was like we have to go see it here it is the gainsborough family portraits i love them so much i think the main reason why i love them is because i've actually seen this particular painting at an art museum near my hometown many years ago so it just brought back memories and was familiar with this painting so it was really cool to see it again
to the British Library. <laughs> So we got some drinks and we're sitting and we also got this sparkling water British Museum water bottle that you can reuse.
We honestly didn't have much time to look around since we made this sightseeing appointment. We just had to go to Glossier. This was my first time and I almost screamed after seeing the big logo. It's so beautiful inside and the presentation is just chef's kiss. I'm not very familiar with this brand though, but I've heard a lot about the makeup bag and also the bomb.coms and I was just looking around and as we were about to leave, my mom said I could buy something and I was so surprised and happy. Since I didn't know much about Glossier, I just planned to get the bomb.com. My lips get dry easily so I feel like it's a good product try out and then we saw this deal for a bundle of three so my mom said how about you just get three and i was like say less we were in a time crunch but i am very particular about the scent of things so i was just smelling all the scents really quickly i just wanted to smell them all and be sure that i like the ones i chose the colors are so vibrant and happy and they make me happy it was definitely a highlight since i was looking forward to it a lot and my mom could see that so that was why she let me buy it very thankful and grateful <music> Also, some takeout, we got two of these bowls and a lot of sandwiches. We're also gonna drink yesterday's milkshake because we, we didn't drink it. So this milkshake um, from yesterday. This is the outfit for today and yeah, bye. We checked into our room and there was complimentary cake and this very fancy glass lid. Did you eat the chocolate? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I think so. They also had these nice glass bottles of water. I really think we lucked out because I was hoping for a room with a view of the Tower Bridge since I just haven't seen it open and close yet. And we somehow got a room that had the perfect view of the bridge. So that was very exciting. And there's this online website that shows the times when the bridge opens and closes. So we're gonna keep our eyes open for that and just be there when the bridge opens. I actually found, well, my mom found this note from today's receptionist it's my brother's birthday today and she wrote such a sweet note thank you so much also there is a variety of like snacks and drinks but they all cost money they even have jelly beans there's also haribo haribo pringles here there's like the glasses and lastly we have some ramen these walker strawberry cookies are actually so good so this is the little tour of our hotel room and the view is very good this is the clip of the bathroom it's pretty nice and i mean it's got a toilet bathtub shower we had to go to the pool obviously check it out the view was very good but like the pool itself was kind of small there was no like deep end or shallow end it was all the same but we actually got the pool to ourselves for like the first 10 minutes so that was pretty nice this is definitely the place to take pictures so next up on our list was going Going to Stussy in Soho. My brother just really wanted to check out Stussy for his birthday. He actually took the tube and then made the walk to Stussy. We made it at 7 o'clock on the dot and the workers were like, nope, we're closing, sorry. So we unfortunately did not make it into the actual shop. Afterwards, we decided to settle for Intai Fong right next to 
the tube station so that was perfect this was the biggest in taifung i've ever seen in my life and we ordered some very good food and had a nice birthday celebration we enjoyed our last night in london by taking in the view and just feeling so grateful to have such a nice view with the tower bridge we did miss the tower bridge opening once again but that's okay we'll try to catch it tomorrow before we leave london at nighttime looks magnificent especially the lights on the tower bridge and all the buildings it really looks magical and so ethereal so these are the few clips that i got at the end of the night like when we were just going to sleep and i was like i have to take a few of these nighttime clips because they look so pretty Breakfast was so, so good. I came back for round two, round threes. There was golden scrambled eggs. It was very yellow and very good quality. There was this very nice passion fruit pudding, which was so delicious. I was tempted to get another one and it was honestly so great. 10 out of 10 breakfast experience. And then as we were eating our breakfast very happily, the tower bridge suddenly opened and it was just so cool to see it open for the first time while eating breakfast we rushed back upstairs to pack our things and get ready to check out and then we saw the bridge open once again these past seven days in london have been like a dream this was my first time in europe and there was so much to see and so much to do this trip has been very eye-opening to me and i'm glad to have documented everything for the memories i'm editing right now and looking back at all these clips i remember every single thing we did that week i had a great time vlogging and taking you guys along with me to explore London. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye!